What is going on everyone? My name is Eskimo and welcome back to episode number 92 of my Minecraft Xbox 360 Let's Play And if you don't know by now, this is my Let's Play where I like to play with some subscribers So I got some subscribers in my world and you know, they can't hear me right now But uh, we got Emo Cat, Burger Slayer, we got Stephen Hawkins, Insane, Skullman, Jake Donovan, Ablex Assassin And whoever else decides to join because uh, you know, a lot of people aren't actually playing Minecraft right now They're actually all playing Call of Duty Ghosts or something like that. And, um, you know, let's read these signs. So, Eskimo equals awesome. Eskimo equals king of the fish. And in the side of this episode, I'm actually going to be making a iron golem. And on top of also making a iron golem, I am also going to be, um naming subscriber of the week so I have to figure out somewhere to place this iron golem so let's see uh, actually you know what uh Hmm, I kind of want to have them right next to my house, so right next to my house for the Iron Golem I think would be the best place for him, so let's see. Let's place him right over here, right next to this, and we could actually probably make some Snow Golems on or later on as well, so let's see. Uh, this is probably enough room for him, you know, give him some breathing room. So let's see, let's go inside of here. Get out the blocks of iron. And I, I really hope that this is enough blocks of iron to make this iron golem. Because if it's not, then I don't know what would be. Okay, here we go. So we're about to make this iron golem right now. So let's... Hope he is a awesome Iron Golem as well. And we're actually going to be naming the Iron Golem as well after my subscriber of the week. So there we go, guys. We have a Iron Golem right now. And let's get out a sign inside of my inventory. Do I even have a sign? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I don't even have a sign to name him. So, all right, hopefully I have a sign inside of this chest. All right, I have one sign inside of this chest, and we are going to be naming this Iron Golem after my subscriber of the week. But before I go on and name the subscriber of the week, if you don't know what subscriber of the week is, it's something that I've brought back on my channel, and this is going to be week number one, even though it's like the... Um, fifth week I've done it or something like that but subscriber of the week number one is going to be gun king so right here uh, we got gun king gun king the iron golem so there we go gun king you are subscriber of the week for week number one and if you guys want to know how to become subscriber of the week basically what you do is you pretty much you have to you know, it, it, it's whoever I notice the most during that week. Like, whoever's commenting on my videos the most, liking my videos the most, pretty much being a fantastic Escabro. And that would have been absolutely bad if I fell down there. But, you know, what I'm going to be doing in this episode, guys, is I'm going to be making a farm so I can get some animals and herd them and stuff like that because I'm in the Arctic tundra right now. We got some difficulties, or we got to We got to uh, not 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 a difficult not difficulties I should say I guess we got a difficult area to live in so I'm going to be making this a um, pin for I don't know I I honestly hope this is uh, short enough for animals to actually live inside of I'm not entirely sure if animals could even live in this area but um, fingers crossed you know I know there has to be a certain area for the animals not to despawn and hopefully this is small enough now I'm actually you know what I'll break it up so let's see is this the center one two three four one two okay this is the very center right here so good I can at least break it up even if it's not the not the best place for me to go so let's see right here is where I'll break it all off and I actually should place a gate right there so there we go we got a gate going on or we will have a gate going on right there inside of those locations so yes we have a awesome farm and we're gonna hopefully get some animals that we can breed so thank you emo cat for the wheat I really appreciate that so I actually needed some well I didn't need wheat anyways because I actually have some inside of my inventory and do okay people do have permission because I was like wondering why is this guy staying inside of here you, you know you could go through the gate right there um Okay, regardless, I'm going to be finding some animals to tame and put inside of my little farm that I got going on right there. So I believe some sheep would be a good idea. So, um, 
Uh, the reason why sheep is a good idea is so you guys can get wool, you can come inside of my world, you guys can get beds going on, because this is my world that I like to play with in, with subscribers. So, you know, it's a great way to meet you guys, it's a great way for us to work together, and come on, sheep. <laughs> Insane skull man's helping me, the sheep. Come on, buddy. Come on, little buddy. Come on. Why, why is he? Why is the sheep not coming after me? I got weak. Come on, little buddy. Come on, little buddy. Yeah. Seriously, why is the sheep not focusing? I don't get it. Sheep, come on, man! This is a sheep! Oh, I'm gonna probably kill the sheep because it's just being a complete scumbag. Come on, sheep. Sheep, come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. You wanna go over here? Okay, I give up on that sheep, okay? We're gonna go after another animal because that sheep obviously doesn't like me. I don't know why, but hey, we'll go for this pig over here, so... Maybe this pig likes me. You and you do have to have wheat in your inventory, right? Yeah, you do. So that's how you make animals follow you. So I'm sorry if this is going to be a very slow process, but you don't have to be careful coming over here because we got holes in the ground and stuff like that. We even have a ravine right next to my little wheat farm that I got going on. And, and later on, I'm going to have to expand my wheat farm, but right now, eh. <laughs> They're still trying. To, they're still trying to get that sheep to go. That sheep is, that sheep is persistent. Persistent. He doesn't want to be tamed. He's like, nope, nope. I will not go inside of the pig pen with the. I'm. Or I will not go inside the pen. And come on, sheep. What? Sheep. Come on. Sh come on, piggy. Oh, I think they won't come for some reason because of all the people around here. I think that's why it is. Okay, so. I believe that's the case because they keep on trying to focus on too many different people. So come on, sheep. Come on, sheep. Come on, little guy. Come on. Oh, this is like the most difficult thing ever. And I could tame them and bring them in by myself if, you know, all these people weren't coming over here and, like, push. Well, they actually are helping. I'm not, I'm not talking bad about it because they really are helping me out. And I really do appreciate it. But um, I would be able to... Oh, I would be able to, you know, um, get all of these animals by myself. I, I'm assuming that's why they're all, like, all confused because I'm, like, going near the sheep. I'm like, hey, little buddy, why don't you take this piece of uh, wheat and, uh, you know, become my little barnyard animal. But uh, for some reason, the sheep, uh, whenever I got near the other players, I don't know why that is, but they didn't seem to like me. But I will go do what I will go do right now, guys, is I'm actually going to cut down some of the trees inside of my tree farm. So here we go. And, um, yeah, yawning too, because I'm a complete scumbag today. All right, here we go. And uh, somebody actually left a comment on one of my videos and said, Hey, Eskimo, do you know if you, instead of breaking the leaves with your hands or whatever, you can actually, um, or the trees will drop more saplings and apples. If you don't do that and you just let them fall by yourself, so I'm going to let these trees hopefully fall by themselves and I don't have to, or the leaves fall or break by themselves so I don't have to go do that. And I can get more oak saplings and apples and stuff like that. So that's also more food and more saplings I can get to keep on planting this tree farm that we got going on right now. So, um... Oh, Banna531, um, I don't know if he lagged out or whatever, or she lagged out, but uh, I didn't notice that name in here before, let's see, we also have Beast Mode in here, so it looks like Banna, Beast Mode, um, those are two newcomers into the world that I didn't notice join, but they did join, so, you know, shout out to them for being awesome Escobros, and uh, I am incredibly excited to, um, play on this world, it looks like we have a sheep over here, I don't know if I should go tame it or try to tame it or whatever or just okay guys i'm this this I just, I just can't wait come on sheep or piggy stay over there wait is that yeah that's a piggy you know it's kind of hard to tell whenever it's in the snow and all the textures are the same like well not they're they're not the same but they're really pale like um the sheep are or the sheep are whiter i swear and the pigs are a lot paler they're not as pink as they used to be so it's really hard for me to tell okay and please tell, okay i got 3 saplings at least so i'll try okay we got another sapling so we at least got some oh romantic trash join the game so shout out to that eska bro for joining my game but looks like we got some more saplings as well and i'm going to be getting this pig over here so let's see um Hopefully he'll want to follow me, so come on, little guy. 
<laughs> I, I don't know what they're doing over there, but it looks like it's a fun time. <laughs> what? Why'd they kill the pig? Why? <laughs> I guess they got discouraged. They're like, no piggy. Or, wait, was, I don't even know if that was a pig, but, um, I guess they got discouraged. They're like, why won't you come over here? And, you know, I was getting kind of discouraged as well. And I was like, come on, little guy. Come over here. You know you want to, so come on, piggy. Just keep following me. Ignore the, ignore the, ignore the other people. <laughs> it looks like Stephen, we got two pigs inside of here right now. So we got, um, Stephen Hawkins, okay. Okay, piggy, come on inside, piggy. Come on inside, buddy. Little buddy, little buddy, come on, buddy. All right, come on inside. Here we go, piggy. Oh, come on, come on. Push him in, push him in. Come on, little buddy. Come on, go inside. No, somebody push him in, please. Stephen Hawkins, go away. I think it's because of you. You're right here, and he won't look at me. So, come on. Come on, stay inside. Oh, thank you. We can have pig babies. We can have little piglings. Come on. Oh! Oh, we're gonna have pig babies! This is so awesome! Oh my god! Look at him! He's got he's such a huge head! That's awesome! It's so adorable! Alright, so where's that sheep that I saw? Hmm. No idea where that sheep is, but uh, I guess he's long gone, but we finally got two pigs at least. So we can constantly have them grow or whatever. So, oh no, nothing. Okay, at least I can replant it right there. So there we go. We replanted it and got some more seeds right. What the hell? Oh, there's a chicken. I was like, what the heck is that? It's just a baby chicken. Or not a baby chicken. Wait, is it a chicken or is it a duck? Hmm. I guess no one will never, ever know. But here we go, guys. Just lighten up this area that I'm in right now. So here we go. And I uh, could do with some light over there. But pretty much we have a pig pen going on right now. So I'm definitely really excited for that. I could deal with getting some more animals, you know. But hey, I guess I'll have to deal with it right now. Let's see what's going on with this tree farm right now, though. So, um, okay, we got plenty more saplings over here. So we're going to have a really awesome tree farm in a couple episodes. At least not really awesome, but at least pretty massive, I guess you got, guys could say. So we got 13 saplings to place right now. Oh, wait, we even got more saplings over here. Wow, there's so many saplings, guys. So this tree farm is going to be awesome. Really excited for this, so let's see, um, got nine saplings left, or not nine saplings, but I had eight, five, four, come on, three, two, one, and maybe I should go chop down the other trees, um, maybe I should do that, um, okay, we got another sapling going on right here, so we'll actually place this one right here, for no apparent reason, but um, I just feel like it, you know, just feel like placing it right there, so, we'll, okay, somebody left a tree hanging, somebody was a scumbag and left a tree hanging, that didn't fell the tr entire tree, um, so come on, here we go, so we're just getting, going to get as much wood, I guess, as we possibly can right now, and what I could do is, no, never mind, no. I, I was like, I, I was gonna put some shears right next to the sheep, but I didn't have any sheep right now, I was thinking ahead, I was like, wait a second, no, the sheep didn't even come, so I was just thinking ahead, but that's something I will do in the future, I'll put some shears right next to the sheep pen and the pig pen, so we can get some sheep going on, it'll definitely be pretty awesome, but right now I'm just gonna be cutting down the rest of these trees, and it looks like my axe is... Well, I was about to say, it looks like my axe is actually about to break. And as soon as I said that, my axe broke. So, I think I may have jinxed myself, guys. Scumbag Eskimo. But, you know, we got a subscriber of the week going on. And, you know, I actually should have probably talked about something else um, at the start of this video. Maybe I'll do a little... Uh, do a little short video and talk about it before the next video or before this video because there's something I was going to talk about and it, it, okay you guys will know what it is because what I'm talking about because it'll be plugged in at the very start of this video but yeah uh, pretty much um it's just going to be a little reward system that I'm going on. I guess this could be the part where I explain it. But it's just going to be a little reward system that I have with you guys. So if you get each video of the week to 230 likes. So if you get this video to 230 likes in the video that I had before of this one for this week of Minecraft 360 Let's Plays. Uh, I will do a bonus episode. So if you get uh, Subscriber of the Week episode number 91 I believe. I believe this is episode number 92. But yeah if you get that episode to 230 likes as well 
as this one I just kind of burped scumbag Eskimo then I will do something awesome and do a bonus episode each week week rather than just doing two episodes I think that definitely be something really cool for me to do and you know I think you guys will like that idea as well but you know here we go guys we are just working on this little tree farm I know I said I was gonna wait for the leaves to break but you know it's like waiting for grass to grow it's just taking so long I just don't want to wait <laughs> I seriously don't want to wait though it's taking so long come on here oh we got a bunch of saplings falling right there but um Look at how many saplings we have planted right now. This is going to be seriously be a massive tree farm. And there's going to be a bunch of mobs spawning and stuff like that eventually, I think. And hopefully that won't be the case. But, you know, look at all that snow falling we got going on right now. Or snowfall that we got going on right now. I don't know if that's a good thing or what. But we definitely have a lot of snow going on and just planting some trees right now. Oh, uh, we got, uh, who is this helping me out? So Romantic Trash is actually helping me plant trees. So huge shout out to him. I definitely appreciate whenever you guys help me. You know, you can help me. You can go do your own thing. It's whatever. You know, it's m as much as my Minecraft 360 Let's Play as it is your guys as well. So... You know, feel free to do whatever. But we got a sheep, finally. Hopefully we can get this sheep inside the pen over there. Come on, sheep, come on. Who keeps on planting, placing the dirt over there? I don't really know. But hey, here we go. No, Skullman, no, get away from me. No, 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 no. Mm -mm. No, because he likes to follow me whenever you're away from me. I'm, I'm Hey, man, I'm, so, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Well, I was, I was going to give him a fish if I had one. But uh, I noticed that whenever people come near me, the sheep doesn't like to pay attention to me. So that's um, why I'm like, go away from me. Now, I'm not trying to be rude or anything. Uh, hopefully you'll watch this video and you'll understand because, you know, I definitely don't want to be rude to you guys. You are my Eskimos. And look at that pig. He's got such a big head. It's so awesome. I love it. But, you know, what would a, um, a, a hey, sheep, come back. Come back, little guy. Come back, little guy. There, there you go. Inside of the pen. There we go. Definitely, what would a pen be without a black sheep? So we got some black sheep going on. We also have a, oh, I was about to say, um, some pigs going on. Well, we do have some pigs going on. But um, eventually, I'm going to keep the pigs going. I would like to find a cow, but right now, that definitely doesn't seem possible. We, but we got, hey, 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 Jake, you scumbag. I saw that. You hit Gun King. Gun King, are you going to stand for this? He, he just nodded and says, oh, yes, that's good boy I am. <laughs> but I know the real Gun King would be like, I'm going to go slap him with a fish. <laughs> but I guess the Iron Golem Gun King is kind of passive. So Gun King, the Iron Golem, is definitely not a representation of you. So, um, hmm. I was like, wait a second, what am I doing? But, um, I need to get a iron sword, and, um, it looks like my iron pickaxe is about to break sometime soon, so I can deal with getting another iron pickaxe in my inventory. So, um, yeah, we're pretty good. And I also could deal with eating as well, but, huh. I'm really thinking right now, like, I could, or wait. Why isn't this stuff growing? Shouldn't it be growing? No? Yes? Maybe so? I'm not entirely sure. I I don't quite understand the melons and the oranges and or not the oranges. Why did I Okay. Yes. Pumpkins are obviously oranges. Is isn't this such a delicious looking orange right here? Yes. Yeah, pumpkins are not oranges, you Eskimo. You done gone and derped. Oh man. But you know, we are playing right now and uh, I'm trying to think of what I could do because I'm just like browsing around for some animals right now because that's what I could really deal with doing right now because I could tr deal with trying to find some animals and get some more of my farm going on. You know, we got two pigs. Well, actually three pigs. We got two pigs, a baby pig, and one sheep. And uh, right now... I could deal with some more stuff, like um, I could deal with some more sheep, some stuff like that, and I'm just trying to look around, but I can't really find any animals, so I'm definitely going to try and not kill as many of those pigs as I possibly can, because, you know, I'm just trying to get as many food sources as I could possibly can going on right now, and I don't know if I'm doing a good job, doing a bad job, or what, but, uh, 
you know, who knows? <laughs> One thing I do know is that I actually have plenty of wood that I can actually make a... Not a wooden farm. Actually, yeah, it is a wooden farm. But I was talking about like a... Hey, beast mode. Hey, thanks so much, little buddy. I see how it is. Assassin, do you, do you have diamonds? Are you going to give me diamonds? Oh, you're going to give me snowballs. I guess the assassin's going to like laugh into my face like, Ha, Eskimo. Look at what... <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know what's going on right now! I forgot there was a ravine right there! Oh man, but I'm going to have to be making another wheat farm sometime soon. So let's see, uh... Right here would be a good location for yet another wheat farm that we got going on right here. So let's see... We'll make this one pretty big, so I'll make this and then end off the video. I won't make the entire wheat farm, but I will make these structures, so definitely pretty cool. Okay, so here we go. I think this is a nice structure, nice and boxy. The the way all Minecraft structures should be, right? A nice box. That <laughs> That's how every Minecraft structure should look look like apparently no I'm just kidding they should look a lot better than this but it's what I have going on right now it's um not what I have going on it's what I have to work with right now I have plenty of wood so we'll, we'll work on it and upgrade later so here we go we got this wheat farm going on right now wait I only need to make it up two don't I yeah I do but oh well I'll make it up three and so we can have a decent ceiling. You know, I could also deal with making a sugar cane farm eventually as well. That's another good idea. And so we we might do that soon. So let's see. We got that stack of wood that's gone. Oh, man. So let's see. Okay. We, we, we got a decent shape going on. So this is going to be another wheat farm because, you know, you can never have enough wheat farms in Minecraft. So here we go. And, you know, somebody actually told me that you can... um. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll talk about it in here. So, with one stream of water, you could actually have, like, five blocks of dirt going that way, or something like that, or three. I don't I don't know, remember what it was, but it was something like that, and I only need, like, one stream of water. But, you know, I'll stick with the one water thing. No idea why. Actually, I'll, I'll, I'll try the five thing. Yeah, I'll try the five thing, and this actually needs to be the door. And I know I don't have a wooden axe or anything like that, but I'll... Uh, gosh darn it, I'll use this. And here we go. So, making the roof right now. Oh, man, I only have one stack of wooden planks left, so hopefully I have enough. I'm not entirely sure about this, but I'm hoping I do. So, here we go. Here's hoping that we have enough. So, come on, buddy. What, what's everybody standing inside of here for? I don't know. But, uh, yeah, we, I guess, uh, wait. Hold on, everybody kind of keeps getting in my way. Not complaining, you know, I, I think they're trying to help, maybe, maybe not. <laughs> maybe so, Jake Donovan, it looks like he's throwing some stuff at me, so I pre- Oh, wait, he just get Oh, he gave me plenty of sugar cane, well, not plenty of sugar, I don't know what he's doing, but, uh, yeah, um, I'm gonna finish off this line of wood, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna need a lot more wood to finish this off, aren't I? Oh, man, this is certainly a lot more than I originally expected. But that is entirely okay as well. So let's see, let's get some torches going on. So we got um, 20 torches, so we can at least light up this area. So there we go. No idea why, I'm just I'm just lighting it up randomly. You know, might as, might as well light it up randomly. So there we go. It looks nice and cool inside. Well, not nice and cool, but it'll, eventually it'll be awesome. And oh man, I, I thought that might have been a little world hole or something like that because... um. One thing that I've noticed whenever I do Minecraft 360 Let's Plays or or something like that, I a lot of people would like to dig straight down and it, it would just absolutely troll me. So thank you so much, man. I'd appreciate it if you gave me the stack. If, if you gave me the stack. Um, Jake. Well, Stephen Hawking, thanks for the wood. Jake, thanks for giving it back to me. Hopefully this is going to be enough. Hopefully this is going to be enough. Who <laughs> who knows? Uh, I guess only they do. <laughs> Wait, oh, the, wow, look at that tree farm. We, we already have some massive oak trees over there, too, so check that out. We got one right there, one right there, and it looks like we got several smaller ones going on as well. So definitely pretty excited for this, you know. It's coming along a lot better than I thought it originally was going to be, because uh, I was just like, you know, I won't, I won't uh, 
I won't uh, have it grow a whole lot, but, uh, you know, it's definitely come a long way in what? Has it only been two episodes? Seriously? Wow, that, that, that seriously is a, actually a pretty insane amount for two episodes, how far we've come so far. So definitely pretty excited about that. And it looks like we're almost done with at least the shelter for this wooden house. Um, hmm. Let's go. What's inside? Oh, we got some wood inside of here. We got some uh, wood, oak wood inside there. So there we go. We got 17 pieces of wood. And it looks like Stephen Hawking might be coming towards me with wood or something like that. Okay, yeah, Stephen Hawking, the hero of this video. Oh, thank you. Thanks so much, bud. Yeah, Stephen Hawking. High five. High, hey, high five. High, high five, buddy. High five. Nod your, no, just nod your head. Just a little twerk dance. A little twerk dance we got going on. Ooh, oh. It looks like somebody's giving me iron ore, so I appreciate that, buddy. So thank you so much, Ablex Assassin. I really do appreciate that. So, um, you know, look at this pig right over here. I'm, I'm going to go for this pig first and try to put him inside of my little pen for... Pig! C hey, wait. All right, let's go this way. Come on, piggy. Come on, piggy, buddy. <gasps> Two pigs. What? What? Did somebody kill my pigs? What? 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 Um, I'm confused. Is this my own pig? Is this seriously my own pig? What? I don't know. I think this might be my own pig, guys. <laughs> um, uh, okay. I guess one of my pigs may have gotten out, may have glitched out, but, you know, it's not like that's that massive of an area in there, so I don't know why that would happen. But I guess that's what happened. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. I hate misplacing blocks. And I wish I had a wooden axe inside of my inventory. That would definitely help him. But, you know, I'll probably get that going on next episode. But once again, guys, remember, 230 likes on this episode and on my previous episode, episode number 91. If we get 230 likes, I will do a bonus episode this week. And also, remember, Subscriber of the Week, you know, if you didn't get it this week, we will have something going on next week. So we'll actually name the first Snow Golem after one of my subscribers. Looks like Romantic Trash wants to say goodbye to you guys as well. Oh, Stephen Hawkins is coming over as well. Wait, did you kill my, did you kill my pigs? Did you kill my pigs? You better not have. I'm watching you. Whoa, Stephen Hawkins! Man, you're just going absolutely beast mode on the wood today. But yeah, guys, Ebeneskimo, I love you all. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I shall see you all next time.